Right, Leisha, <laughs> we are here today. Um, we've had some comments on LinkedIn yeah. uh, based off something I posted, which you've then pushed out, and people said, hey, yeah. why don't you do a video all based around how did you become good at networking? Yeah. All right, so um, I think the big thing that we need to cover off today is everybody thinks that certain people like yourself born naturals at networking. So yeah, no. we're going to try and give some people some tips on how they can get better at that. Do you want to just give us a bit of a broad overview of um, networking in general, yeah. how you found it when you started it, and um, yeah, just take it from there. Yeah, horrible. I hated it. And, and like you say, a lot of people think that people like you and I are just really natural at it. It took a lot of work. I, I used to be in a job where I worked in a credit union that was for police officers, and my bosses, we'd go out to sort of police um, sites if you like and my bosses would go hey go and talk to those people about our products and I'd be like scared as stiff walking up to random people trying to talk to them about finance products that I didn't really know anything about so um it, it kind of it owned my skill having to go to those networking events all the time and I just found that the biggest thing for me was when I took charge of the agenda myself and had mm. my own agenda walking in. That's when I then felt in control and I felt much more confident. So I would walk in and think, right, all I want to do today is speak to three people and have three genuine conversations, then I can go home happy. Awesome. So I think a big part of it is the fact that it was a learned skill. And, yeah. and a lot of people think, hey, that's just not my personality. Mm. How am I ever going to get good at that? You know, And, and, and especially analysts and people in data, they yeah. get lumped into the generalization, oh, we're introverts, how are we ever going to get good at this? Yeah. But surely at a data event, 80% of the people there are introverts. So how does it even work like that, right? But that's the thing. So there'll be more people like you. So it would be even different, wouldn't it? Like people aren't looking at you to, to be that extroverted person. But you can be an extroverted introvert as well. So just because you're more introverted and you find it difficult and scary. And I, I was scared too. I didn't know how to approach a conversation or how to open it up. And I'd walk up to kind of groups of people and then just stand there and think, I shouldn't be here, I don't know how to talk to you. And you, you just, at the end of the day, you just have to say something. That's, it's like the episode in Friends where Ross is like, just say something, anything. And that's all you have to do. Just <laughs> yeah, open he got it up. completely wrong in Friends though when he said that. He did, but yeah. his mind was telling him the right thing to do, yeah, right? Yeah, that's So enough. just walk up and say, hey guys, I'm new here, own it. Yeah. I'm new here, I've never been before. Have you been before? I think it's, it's, a, it's a massive thing being able to just open up and if you're at a data event where you're like-minded people, just, oh, what brought you here, what you're interested in is such yeah. a simple question that you can use and then yeah. hopefully it, it opens up. Um, for me, I haven't been drinking much recently. I've been to a few parties without drinking and I've had horrible anxiety. So I think I obviously use a glass of wine as a crutch <laughs> when I get to networking events, I realised. That was going to be one of my tips. There you go, right? <laughs> so let's get into that. If we could give you know, maybe five or six very specific tips mm. that people could take away from this video, apart from the fact that it's okay, everyone feels like you, what would you say? Take a friend with you okay. or a colleague. Um, obviously, it depends on the event, but uh, remember that you're, even though your friends aren't in data, maybe, they still might be either A, willing to come with you, or B, perhaps might mm -hmm. get something from it and be interested. Um, so that's a crutch. Yep. Um, and don't be afraid to use a crutch, I think, if you need or want one. That's like okay. a literal crutch or? <laughs> I mean, it's a talking point. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't be afraid to use a metaphorical crutch like taking a friend with you or um, you know, walking up to someone and being genuine and saying, I'm new here, what are you aiming to get out of today? Um, I think probably one of my biggest tips is don't be creepy. And what I mean by that <laughs> is a lot of people walk up to, it's happened to me where they walk up to you at an event because you're the extrovert one and they think oh I can kind of you know I can I can jump in on this and I can lean on you mm. and then they just stand next to you and don't say anything and look at you and and it's hard for the other person then i.e. me to kind of you try and involve them in the conversation but if you just stood there looking a bit weird then mm. it's not helpful so say something anything um, yeah. give an opinion on someone that's talked or uh, say just be genuine. This is my agenda for this is why I'm here. Yeah. Do you know where I'd start? Yeah, fair enough. I'm, I'm, it's no harm in saying, you know, I'm a bit shy, I've not been to many networking yeah. events, you know. Um, I'd, I'd love to know what, what I should be getting out today in your opinion as well. Yeah. You know, asking people what they should be getting. Mm. All right, well, look, we've got a few tips there that people could maybe use. Um, I think the real simple ones are just be yourself, be authentic, and, and just try and go in with one or two really good opening questions, and, yeah. and then that hopefully break the ice for you more than anything. One last one. Download the LinkedIn app on your phone. Um, as recruiters, we know how um, important that is and how useful it can be. It's amazing how when you've had um, just some background on someone, it gives you some content to go and talk to them. So 
you might find you've been to the same university or school or I don't know you, you've worked in the same businesses or at least you've got a face to a name and you can be like hey I've been following you on LinkedIn you might have only been following them for two hours but you've been following them there you go and maybe you, know. you find the person who looks more nervous than you yeah <laughs> Go and find someone else on their own and yeah. them. There you go, guys. Hopefully that helped. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be plenty more of this content coming out soon. So watch this space. But if there's anything particularly you want to hear about, just let us know. Yeah.